Okay, hi, thanks for joining me again. Now today I'm going to do my second attempt on a freeform tray. Because as we all know, the last one I left it too oh well, I took it too early went before I put it in the bowl. Now I'm gonna try something a little different today. I'm not sure if you can see that. My alcohol inks. That one's apple green and I've got peach lemon yellow and I've got a metallic pigment in rose gold so fingers crossed they go together all right ah, I'm gonna use my heat torch today I'll move that over oh, I probably should see if you guys can see that because yeah that's pretty good I don't know. I like the rose gold, but I don't know. I'm not used to alcohol inks and how they work. They kind of they always surprise me, which isn't a bad thing. Oh, I like that color. That's peach. Oh. bit of a shake got some anyway oopsies don't do that I have a bit of paper towel to wipe my fingers on oh what's going on here oh I've been fiddling I've been stirring up the air now as you can see, I've already poured resin in here. And what I did was I did it about an hour and a half ago because, yeah, last time I did the tray, I decided that straight after pouring the resin, it's probably not a good idea to put alcohol inks in. Anyway, like I said, I'm learning. Alcohol inks are new to me. So if you've got any suggestions or tips, throw them in the comments guys I love learning hmm. oh. oh I really do like this peachy color That was a bit loved, wasn't it? This is lemon yellow. Yeah, see how the inks are... The trick is to wait, is it? Oh, well. Ooh. I think I want another colour, but I'm not sure if I want a white or where, where do I put my colours? 
maybe maybe a silver silvery silvery metallic or maybe not maybe maybe I do think it needs something. Bear with me guys, maybe that. Because I did pick up a light blue before. We'll go with a light blue. And then I'll put it back. No, now I, as you can see in my hand, I did pick up a gold, but I don't think I'm going to need it because it's got rose gold in it. Looks a bit more spruity. Let's see how we go moving that around. there. Anyway, so I've got my trusty little toothpick. And I think oh, I already have one there. I'm going to drag some of that this way, I think. Starting, starting to set. <laughs> Maybe don't leave it for an hour and a half now. Oh well, like I said, I'm learning, I'm having fun. I need a little, little something. Can't deal with. Things that are oh go 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 yes. There we go. I'll put some of this over here. Little streaks. Happy with that. I think the yellow needs to. come out a bit more. <laughs> I love it when I hate I can create that effect with like negative space in the middle. Makes me happy. Want to move. There we go. I just want to move around, see if I can bring in some clear. There we go, that's a bit better, isn't it?
Now I've got, oh, snapping my finger off. Not some, um, I, I can't help but put glitter on. I've got some white, cute stuff. And I think that will go really well with the colors I've got playing here. And again, like last time, I'm going to drape it over that bowl again. So if you want to see my first attempt, go and have a look at my video. I must warn you, it wasn't what I expected, but I'm still happy. I learnt. I learnt to leave it, whether it's leave it putting your inks in, leave it for a little bit longer. And it was also my very first time using my new epoxy resin, so live and learn, live and learn. I really like these colours. Normally I go for blues and purples because I really love purple. Purple is my favourite colour. And I like whites. I'm really happy with that rose gold metallic. That looks amazing. So I might just sprinkle some into the gaps a little bit. So I love this glitter. I'll be sad when I've used it all. No, I won't. I'll buy some more. Mm, is there enough? Oh, let's be honest. Is there ever enough glitter? My husband hates it because I love glitter. And we have a six-year-old daughter. So you can imagine what our house looks like, especially when she gets into mummy's glitters. Anyway, well, I'm going to leave that. Last time I left it for about four-ish, almost five hours. I think I'm going to try and leave this one for about the five, six hour mark. I'll, I'll come and test it in between anyway and see where we're at and what we're doing. Because I've got the heater going today because it's raining outside and horrible. So I'll test it every hour and see where we're at. Fingers crossed. Because where's my blight? We're gonna drape. We're gonna drape it over this one again, and prop up the sides like we did last time. Anyway, well, I will see you when I come back to do that. Okay, so we're back, and we're just about to mould our dish. Just give you a close look at all them colours if you can see them. That metallic pink worked its wonders through everything. It's gorgeous. I haven't got the best lighting in here, as you can see. But anyway, we're moulding it onto that dish again. So I'll go around and I'll get started, shall I? Now it is touch dry. I've been touching and fiddling with it for a while now because I want more to stay up on the edge unlike my last attempt. Now it has been, oh, what was it? Six hours since I poured it. So hopefully it's going do what I want it to do today. So I'm going to mould it just like I did the other one because that turned out I liked that. Stay there. I want you there to push that up. And I want that little bit in there. just creating its own way but knew what I wanted it to do <laughs> it's good so it looks like it's staying there more than what it was going to yesterday 
I think my big head in a lot. But anyway, there you go. We'll come back and we'll have a look-see tomorrow. And I will do a little video of demoulding it. Thanks, guys. Okay, hi. So we're back the next day. We'll take you through demoulding this one. I think this one's worked out a lot better than my last one. So I'm getting better with each go. So let's take it apart, shall we? Really love the colours in there. It's just gorgeous. Anyway. Oh, would you look at the bottom of that? That's underneath. Some lovely colours happening. Not in the best light right now. Not sure if you can actually see all that metallic in that pink. God, it's gorgeous. And leaving it a bit longer. It hasn't draped down. I'm just going to tidy up these edges. It's like a little candy bowl. How gorgeous. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Very happy. Look at the wave it's got happening. Oh. Look at the purple down here. I'm not sure if you can actually see that on the camera, but it's actually really not dark, dark purple. Remember I thought it was going to get muddy on the edges? It, it hasn't. So beautiful.